1931, Thelma had earned her stripes, and Roach rewarded her with her own series. He signed comedian Zazu Pitts and teamed her with Thelma as a couple of working class girls bundling their way through Depression America. The Todd Pitts series would occasionally stray into slapstick mode. But as a general rule, these comedies were more genteel. wasn't advertised as the female version of Laurel and Hardy, it was implied. Oh, Zazu, why don't you answer that phone? Why don't you? Well, I answered it so... Thelma played the Take Charge member of the duo, while Zazu was the more dithery, hapless one. Comparisons weren't that hard to connect. Although mildly successful, the series continued even after the withdrawal of Miss Pitts after two years. She wanted to return back to features. Uh, come in. Whom do you wish to see? Madam, what I wish is a matter of small importance. And so Roach looked elsewhere and brought in the even more brash Patsy Kelly. Coming round the mountain. Now we're here. You can get the dress off me. The series continued in a successful mode for another two years until the untimely death of Miss Todd. On the Loose was released at the tail end of 1931 and was the uh, fifth film in the new Todd Pitts series. The humor here is understated, but is a good example of the charm that permeated through many of the shorts. It is also notable for a very Funny surprise cameo appearance by a couple of Roach stalwarts, which is indicative of the communal filmmaking feel that uh, existed throughout the studio. People felt like they could drop in on each other's work whenever they felt like it. So now, let's drop in on Thelma Todd and Zazu Pitts as they go on the loose.
do you do? How do you do? We thought if you girls weren't doing anything this afternoon, you'd like to go with us. Well, where are you going? We're going to Coney Island. You enjoyed that short. And now, we have a big surprise for after weeks of reconstruction, we are very excited to we have finally reopened the memorabilia room in all its glory. Uh, yes. As you can see, all of the memorabilia is back in place where it originally was our massive collection of tapes and, and films and, and ancient pictures and, of course, books featuring our favorite comedians, the boys. Yes, sir. This has been reinforced with super glue, so nothing can happen to the memorabilia room. 